All right, we're in Super Campus, and we have five free GCs we can earn today. These five on the screen, and that's how you get all of them right there. And there's going to be a limited UGC as well, which will be a top 15K um, leaderboard kind of thing, which I'll explain in a second there. But let's go over the five UGCs we can earn today. And it's very easy to do. It's just the, the game is really well made, and I think it's a pretty good event. So we'll explain how this goes. So let's go with the first easy one, which would be collect 30 stars. So 30 stars. There is six mini games in total. You click on this button over here on the left side, and you can see that there is all these mini games. There's six mini games, and each time you complete one mini game, and there is an objective. So let's say we do scribble sprint here. You see that there's five mini games, and you can get three stars in each one, or five levels, I mean, right? And then you, once you play it, you can see on the top left here what you need to do to get three stars. So this one, we think just uh, play the game, right? And then uh, we will get points by just going as further and further as we play, picking up coins, using a poster note, poster note, post notes to uh, go through paths here, and using your jump and slide to get past stuff. And I only got two stars, so I messed up there. But you can see that now in total, we have five stars in total. So we do the math, you could do the two, right? And then doing all three stars for scribble sprint and doing let's say all three stars at history hunters uh that will give you 30 right or you could just do like the first level for each one and then the second level for each one get three stars for that or just get or just play them all and don't care about it you know that will get you 30 stars is pretty easy to do as you only need to do 10 of them to get technically all three stars but you don't have to do all 10 on three stars basically anyways so after that we can go ahead and show you guys the next one which will be Let's do collect 350 brain points. That would be for the uh, paper planes or paper. That's very simple. So every time you do a mini game, as you saw, let's say we do this one here, right? And let's say we get some points here, right? So we're, we're going to get some progress. So let's do that real quick. So we're going to get some coins here. And then we lose whatever. And look, see, we've got five brain points. Here. So the better you do, the more brain points you get, right? And then when you head over to the leaderboard, as you can see over here, you can see how much you have in total. I don't know if there's any other spot, other way to check your brain points other than here, but you can see that your points, which is minus 875, you need 350 total in order to get this prize, the uh, airplane, uh, paper airplane prize. Now, to get more brain power, you can see on the top right over here, there is a rotating, uh, I don't know, class double times two uh, brain power points modifier so you can see that the first one here is the arts right uh that's for the creative arts mini games and the next one is going to be history and the next one would be science that rotates like every five minutes and when you play those mini games you'll get times two brain power so if you want to farm brain power to be in the top 15k which, which should be pretty easy to be in i'll be honest with you then uh there is that so that that or the five, i mean the 350 points i mean that that's the best way to farm it basically so there's that then we're going to go over the next one here there's two of them actually which would be uh gradually well actually you know let's do the the backpack the backpack's pretty easy it's the backpack as you saw when you play mini games you get coins you can see our coins over here on the uh, top right this is our coins every time you play mini games which i mean getting 30 getting 30 points should give you enough coins for this so you want to go ahead and ho head over to walmart there's no really fast way to get here but just walking uh towards there and this will let you go ahead and buy two you need to buy two backpacks so one you apparently you already own counts as one so you can go ahead and head inside here and all you need to do is just head over here and upgrade and once you buy this it gets a new backpack and it puts in your inventory as long as you have three in here you, you're going to go ahead and get the ugc price for that now let's go over the last thing which is well, the second last thing. There's two prizes here, which is graduate one time and graduate three times. So one time gives you the graduation hat and the other one gives you a bodysuit, right? And all this is, is pretty much your, you can see your XP over here, uh, over here, the top right. So this is 750 XP in total. And that's, and that's it doesn't increase every time you level up. It's always 750. And so to get XP, it's just like getting brain points or getting coins just by playing mini games. The more mini games you play, the more XP, the hard, I mean, the harder the mini games you play, levels you get more xp for that so you should be able to, you, you'll be able to graduate pretty easily and three times isn't that bad i'll be honest with you um but when you do graduate it resets everything so it resets all your stars so I, I, you're probably going to get three stars before you graduate anyway so no big deal there but other than that uh graduate three times to get two prizes or one time to get that one prize it's pretty easy to do 
Then lastly, like I've shown earlier in the video, uh, this right here is going to be a limited UGC, right? So this will have 15K stock. Unless they change it, I don't know if they will be, but I don't know how long it's going to last. Usually it'd be 30 days maybe for leaderboards. But you can see here, you can see your progress here. I'm on 55, 875. And if it's 15K, it's going to be a lot. Oh, wait, you can't even see. It. Anyway, we're at 875 here. And it's going to be pretty, I have say, I don't know. I mean, the UGC is a limited stock, right? So it should be pretty easy to, people are going to get it. And a lot of people are going to play it, right? Because it's not a limited. But this one will be limited. But 15K is a lot of people. And it shouldn't be that much of an issue, but we'll see if it, what the timer is for that. But other than that, that's all the prices. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that. I can show you guys what we have already in our inventory. So real quick, we have uh, this here. Bop, 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 bop. So we already have, two, uh, I think, four already. So we have the campus for graduating one time, 30 stars over here. And then I don't know what's the other stuff. Is it a face item? No, it's uh, it's uh, it's not that. It's... uh. It's not that. What about this? Nope. A back item. Yeah. Okay. Both back items. So we got paper plane aura, which is what we got, and then the uh, super campus uh, keychain. Those are the two prices we got. And what I'm missing is the bodysuit because I, don't know, I need to graduate one more time, basically. And then basically, uh, our badges here. I said it's pretty brand new, so we have the four badges here. Let's see how easy. Let's see what's what's the prize looking like. So we got. 139 for graduating, 76 for this three star, three star, so that'd be pretty easy. 55 for the brain power, brain points, and then we got the, uh, the claim be three backpacks. So there you go. Uh, that's, that's the gist of it right now, and hopefully you guys, you know, find it useful. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good event, and items are pretty good, and game looks good. So hopefully you guys find this useful, and good stuff.